Welcome to the demonstration of VMware Horizon 6 and VMware Virtual SAN. VMware Horizon 6 is designed to leverage Virtual SAN's radically simple management capabilities, storage policy based management framework, as well as performance and linear scalable capabilities. This demonstration showcases Horizon 6's deep integration with Virtual SAN by leveraging the storage policy based management framework that exists natively within Virtual SAN. Let's start the demonstration by logging onto the Horizon View Connection Server. and creating a new automated desktop pool with dedicated and automatic user assignment. We will leverage the View Composer in order to use linked clones. Provide the desktop pool identification. We retain the default desktop pool settings and proceed to the next step. We specify the virtual machine naming pattern and define the desktop pool size by setting it to create 200 virtual desktops. Next, we configure the settings for View Composer Persistent Disk and Disposable File Redirection Capacity. For this demo, we reduce them to 512 MB. Next, we configure the storage optimization settings of the provisioning workflow. You can quickly identify the integration point of Horizon 6 and Virtual SAN. Here, we simply choose to use VMware Virtual SAN as the storage platform along with its storage policy capabilities. Then we configure the vCenter settings. As part of this step, we identify and select the distributed data store provided by the Virtual SAN cluster as the data store to be used by the linked clone virtual desktops. The advanced storage options present the View Storage Accelerator feature which enhances the performance of the desktops during read-intensive operations, such as boot-up and AV read operations. The use of the View Storage Accelerator together with Virtual SAN enhances the overall performance of the solution. By leveraging Virtual SAN Flash Cache Storage Tier Solution on Flash Memory Devices, SSD, and View Storage Accelerator on RAM caching instances. Next, we retain the default guest customization settings and complete the desktop pool configuration settings. You can see that once the desktop pool is created, deployment of virtual desktops begin. Let's switch to the vSphere web client and identify components that Horizon 6 introduces to vSphere when Virtual SAN is used as its storage platform. Navigate to the VM Storage Policies menu by selecting the VM Storage Policies on the home screen. Here we can identify the policies that were automatically created during the Horizon 6 implementation. These policies are for the different types of disks supported by Horizon View and the Virtual Desktop Home Directory in Virtual SAN. These are added to vSphere to be used during desktops provisioning. The policies are framed based on different disk configuration use cases, with focus on performance, capacity, and availability requirements defined by Horizon 6. The policies also consider the desktop pool's requirements and virtual SAN storage capabilities. These policies are automatically applied individually per disk and are maintained throughout the virtual machine's lifecycle. We drill down into each policy and see the rule definitions. A VM home, number of disk stripes per object is one, number of failures to tolerate is one. Of OS disk, Number of disk stripes per object is 1. Number of failures to tolerate is 1. Then, of replica disk. Number of disk stripes per object is 1. Number of failures to tolerate is 1. And flash read cache reservation is set to 10%. And the persistent disk. Number of disk stripes per object is 1. Number of failures to tolerate is 1 and object space reservation is set to be 100%. We now look at one of the deployed desktops in vSphere and verify that each desktop contains the necessary policies and that it is fully compliant. This concludes the demonstration of VMware Horizon 6 and VMware Virtual SAN.
For more details and documentations about VMware Horizon 6 and VMware Virtual SAN, please visit vmware.com. Thank you.